Transformations question, grade C transformations. So we're looking at reflecting the shape A in the line Y equals 1. Well the line Y equals 1 is uh, where Y equals 1 which is this line here. All the Y coordinates along this line are equal to 1. So we're reflecting in that line there. So that's our Y equals 1 line. So if we take a point on A and we count to the line and then underneath and then this one here and then this one one two three one two three and so on we should get the reflection of that shape let's just use a different color okay so just a quick roughed out outline give us that shape there and I think that's quite clear that that is the reflection of A in Y equals 1. Now part B we're asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B so we're going from A to B this time now you should well you might think it's a reflection but it's not a reflection it's, uh, it's going to be a rotation and when you're doing this sort of thing you need to piece tracing paper and you need to keep you put your trace you put your trace your shape, put your pen on a point, and then spin your tracing paper around until you find a point where it matches this one. Or if you're very gifted, you can see it straight away. And if you see that rotation's onto there, it's not quite perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, and that's rotating about. Can't quite see it, but that's rotating about this point here. Let's just see that again. Okay, so to describe that, we need to say we get one mark for the word rotation. We get one mark for the center, which is 2 minus 2. And we get one mark for saying that it's anti clockwise 90 degrees three marks